Uh, with both hands, hold the front of the headset and put it It's rare to drive a car in the middle of a gym or to be allowed to text in class, and it's outright illegal to do both at the same time. We're going to educate the students about the dangers of distracted driving. Orlando Estrada and his team from the Pierce Foundation partnered with General Motors to bring their augmented reality driving simulator to Beecher High School today. They bring students like sophomore Jacoby Sanders behind the wheel to see what it's like to drive distracted. It's like real life. Like, if you turn and you're not looking on the road, then you might swerve somewhere else. The simulator showed street signs, pedestrians, and traffic, but with other factors added to the mix, like music, friends in the back seat, and of course, texting. The other students in the class were able to text the driver in real time, so they added to even more of the distractions. And Jacoby didn't do so great. Here's an example of when he tried to send a Snapchat while driving. Oh, oh break, break, break. Break. <laughs> That's a felony. Oh, it hits me. Jacoby ran over not one, but two pedestrians during his short time with the simulator. He says texting and driving is a big problem, both in the virtual and the real world. Being on your phone, that's the biggest one to me. Because I know a few people who do that, it kind of scared me. In the end, they hope the crashes made with the simulator decrease the ones on the road. You just focus on the road. I, I don't think anything's that important. In Beecher, Cody Kaczynski, WNEM TV5.